it's finally arrived. Let's find out what's inside. Hi everyone, welcome to Trick Fish. Today it's a bit of a special episode. I've recently teamed up with Hook Me Up Lures. You can find them at hookmeuplures.co.uk. If you use my code TRICKERFISH10 on the screen now, you can get 10% off your first box. I've gone for the gold box. I've not actually properly opened it yet. I've just peeled the stickers, just ready to go. But let's have a look what's inside. Right, to start off, we have the Keytech Madwag Custom Worms. Ultimate lifelike action, made in Japan. They're 2.5 inches long. Having a quick look at these, I think these are gonna be absolutely incredible in salt water for Pollock. I would definitely use them for perch and chub and possibly small pike or little jacks if we're using a wire in the river, the canal. Yeah, really nice. I've been dying to try some Keytech lures actually because I know some of the LRF boys are obsessed with them. Right, there is a pack of Quantum Street offset hooks. So I call these either drop shot hooks or um, Texas hooks. So I normally use them for a worm bait or a small shad bait that make the weedless. So I've got some shads to show you now actually. Um, they look like they're going to be good quality so we'll test those out as soon as we can. I have the Weston Shad Tea Slim. Again, Weston is a brand I haven't used before, mainly because I am cheap and I don't like expensive lures. But these are pretty damn good quality from what I've heard. I know the guys on the Basingstoke Canal do really well on them for jacks and bigger perch. So I'm excited to try these. Oh, these look good. So LMAB Kofi Bleak Pintails. Same again, I am gonna use these for perch. They look like they will smash perch, again, with a fun size pollock, the sort of one pound size pollock will smash these on a jig head combination at night, these would be great. Z-Man, if anyone doesn't use Z-Man, you should try them. They tend to float, they've got really good quality soft rock plastic. Don't put them in your box with other soft plastics because they will melt everything. But these are the Z-Man PRD bugs. So they're like a small little crawl bait. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use these again. Brass, perch, um, they're really good on a Ned rig, so you can use them so they stand up in the water. This is a Molex Nano Jig, so it's a skirted jig head, something I've not used before. I'm quite excited to use these again. I know that they're really popular in America on the, um, the freshwater bass scene. Um, I've seen a few guys in the UK using them well. They've got a sort of weed guard there to keep them sort of semi-weedless. And then the skirt obviously flutters around. You put a soft plastic, something like a shad on the back or a long worm bait, and they're really good for perch, zander, trout. So yeah, I'm excited, excited to try these. I'm also gonna give them a go in salt water. This is a Rapala Shadow Wrap. So I've actually had a Shadow Wrap before, not in this color, so and not this size either. This is a SDRF JO4CLN. So the color is clown. It is four centimeters, one and a half inches, and it's four grams. That is absolutely perfect for the kind of setups that I mostly use, which is sort of one to five grams or one to seven grams, naught to five grams. I use LRS style stuff for ultralight fishing. So I'm excited to try that. That is going to smash chub. It's got a nice big diving vein, so I think the deeper pools for chub, and um, chub are gonna love that. And I think perch as well will also attack this one. I'm excited to try it. I might swap the um, trebles out for singles though at some point. And last but not least, this is TT Lures Australia Tournament Series Jig Head, built on quality Gamma Katsu hooks. So I use Gamma Katsu hooks anyway for most of my saltwater fishing because they're incredibly sharp. Uh, these look like they're a strange sort of worm shaped hook. I've not used this before, they're a 1 16th size one hook. And they've got sort of a weighted bit that looks like it will actually hold a jig, uh, hold a um, shad well. So if I put something like this on it, I could actually squeeze the body of the lure over the um, weight and it would hold it in place. At the same time, add the extra weight for casting. So I'm not sure what the weight is actually, does it say? 1.7 grams, I mean, that's a pretty decent size. I use normally 0.5 for my lightest fishing on the river. And when I want to go a bit deeper, yeah, 1.7 to two grams, pretty much spot on where I want to be fishing. So that is everything I think, I'll just flip through the list. And so is the LMAB Kofi Bleak Pintails, yep. Yeah. The Z-Man TRD Bugs, yep. Yeah. The Molox Nano Jig, that was a skirt jig, yep. Yeah. The Western Shad Tees, yep. Yeah. The Quantum Street 4 Offset Hooks, yes. Keytech Mad Wag Minis, yep. Yeah. The Rapalo Shad Wrap Fat K-Jack 4 Centimeters, and the TT Lures Tournament Series Jigs. So, that's my first box I've ordered. I'm already looking forward to next month now. Um, I am gonna, throughout this month, try and catch on everything in this box. Um, and I'll try and make some more videos so you can see everything in there. So there we go, that's the contents of this month's gold box. If you wanna try one, go over to hookmeuplures.co.uk. Don't forget to use my exclusive code, trick 8 fish 10 as on screen now and you'll get 10% off your first box. They have boxes from £15, which is pretty damn cheap, all the way up to £50 for the sort of gold range. They also have a diamond box now, I can't remember the price of that, I haven't ordered one yet, so we'll hopefully get one of those soon and we'll try that out. 
And they also have different species box. They have a perch box, a trout box, a pike, a pike box. They have a bass box for you saltwater junkies. And I've just noticed actually that pretty much everything in here is suitable for LRF or for ultralight fishing. So a lot of my followers, followers that shoot, everything in here was under five grams. So you can have a pretty good go with some light chick heads and try and catch some stuff in some of these. I think rafts would smash a lot of these different body them soft plastics. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe.